Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Yesterday, Docker did a charity livestream for this great cause called the Trevor Project. During the livestream, he explained that Steel Wool gave him 8 screenshots of different locations that are going to be in the Ruin DLC. I have previously reviewed 4 of them, and I want to finish off the other 4 in this video. The way I'm going to do this video is, first I'm going to look at the base image. Check it out, see what I can find, and then I'm going to brighten up the image. See if there's anything new, and move on when there's not. So with that being said, let's just get straight into the very first image. Of the remaining four, the first that Docco showed on the charity livestream was this one. As we can see in this photo, it's a picture of the Monty's Gator Golf catwalks. You can see the iconic gun that you had to use to shoot into that splash bucket to get rid of Monty. You can see the catwalks everywhere. The damaged trees were always just above the tree line. On the far right, you can see one of those Monty rides. It's very interesting to see how destroyed this place is, because we know in Ruin that Pizzaplex is destroyed, but to this extent is absurd. It's almost like something had to have happened. Maybe the Afton ending? I still believe the Princess Quest ending is canon though. It's just so destroyed beyond so many different possibilities that I really wonder what caused it to get so destroyed like this. You can see at the bottom of the screen here, there's this weird cord thing. Maybe that'll lead somewhere, that'll be important. Perhaps not. There's also some radioactive barrels right next to a Monty that you can see on the ground. He actually looks really scary right now. He doesn't have any of his outer shell, his outer casing showing. You can see his one eye looks pretty illuminated and the other one almost looks like it'd fall off. There's also some pallets right next to this gun. The gun doesn't look like it works. We probably can't use it. And to the left, it looks like there's some scaffolding or maybe a higher part of the catwalks that we can access. In the back behind the gun, there's also this piece of scaffolding or catwalk that's like almost falling or stood vertically on something. It looks like it could fall at any moment and perhaps it will. Now when we brighten up the image, we can see everything far clearer. The wire is easier to see, Monty is a lot brighter, and we can actually see his claw extending outwards. We can see that there's actually some cord wrapped around in the middle, and the background's a lot easier to see as well. We can see more of the trees, we can see some more of the scaffolding or support beams that are hanging off the roof, but other than that, that seems to be pretty much it. The next screenshot that Docco showed on his live stream was this one. In this picture we can clearly see that we're standing in Chica's bakery section of the Pizzaplex where we would find the Chica's Feeding Frenzy minigame. As we can also see, there's Chica standing right in the middle. We actually get to see a nice good look at her. Well, not all of her, just her head. But her head doesn't look so good. <laughs> She's not got her beak, of course, because we destroyed her. Half her face is missing. She's like Two-Face over here. We can see her endoskeleton. And of course she looks like she's kind of sad. She's hiding behind some trash, but she looks really upset about something. Or she's not very active right now. She could maybe be low power, but she just looks really sad. Actually, that brings up a good point. If the Pizzaplex is so ruined, how are these animatronics continuously and constantly running? I feel like they should be out of power by now. Since Freddy can only do things for an hour, or else he runs out of power and gets deactivated. So, how are these animatronics being able to stay active for so long? Another thing you can see here is, in the trash, there's just a bunch of garbage and debris and bunch of different stuff and it's almost leaking all over the floor. You can see the brown spots spreading across and it just looks dirty and gross. Looks like the back area behind Chica is actually under construction. Perhaps they're trying to rebuild the Pizzaplex in some way and that's why it seems like it's in ruin. You can see those beams of wood representing a door shape and that sign back there that looks like a man shoveling. Also on the left there's a toolbox and something that looks like a garbage can on the conveyor belt. Next when we brighten up the image, just like last time everything is just so much clearer. 
Jika is a lot brighter and we can see her a lot better. There's some stuff in the background that we can see, some of the conveyor belts and machinery. It looks like there's actually a wall behind Chica that's blocking off a certain section of the bakery. So that's interesting, maybe we'll be able to go past her. On the right we can also see those iconic candy swirls that are often hung on the wall. Looks like they've been taken down for one reason or another. And of course some of the barricades that line the sides of the wall. And other than that, that seems like that's pretty much it for this photo. Let's move on to the next one. The next photo that Daco showed on his charity livestream was this one. This one's really interesting. You can see a lot of things in this photo. You can see Monty, it looks like he's almost stuck underneath a metal grate. You can see the mini golf machine there and ready. Hopefully, maybe in the Ruin DLC, we'll get to see all 18 holes that we didn't get to see in the initial release of the game. That would be exciting, and I bet a lot of people would like that. You can see behind the arcade machine, there is the green, the end of a mini golf hole, and also a big buoy thing in the background, just behind the arcade machine. It looks like that buoy belongs to the place in Kids Cove by the Chica Mermaid cutout that you have to flash with your flashlight to get into the secret room above the daycare. One thing that's actually pretty interesting is there's a Monty mask hanging on the corner of the Monty's Gator Golf arcade machine. I wonder what that's for. I wonder if there's any importance to that. Perhaps that the arcade machine will hold a greater purpose in the Ruin DLC. We do know that they seemed to have some sort of greater purpose in the base game, thanks to the cut mini games as well as as well as the message bags that explain about the arcade conspiracy. We can also see to the left of Monty there seems to be this big structure, though it's hard to tell what it is without brightening up the image. On that note, we should brighten up the image. After brightening up the image, we can see the things clearer again. On the right, just before the section of Monty Golf track, it looks like there's almost graffiti on the side of this big container. It's hard to tell what it is, it could be just smudged dirt or something, but it almost looks like there is. On the floor, something I didn't notice before is all of these balls. I can't tell if these are from a ball pit or if they're the balls that we shoot out of the cannons to put into Monty's splash bucket in the Monty boss fight. We can also see more cords at the bottom. So maybe the cords in the previous image actually did mean something more. On the left, the thing beside Monte that we couldn't see before just seems to be some tarp. There's also a tree there. Behind Monte, in between the tree and the tarp, it looks like there's a big green thing with some white stuff sticking out. This could likely be the big Monte mouth that we have to walk through to get to different sections of the golf course in the base game. Kind of looks like there's some teeth there and a big lower jaw that's kind of green. It could be what that is. If we look way in the back, behind the Monty's Gator Golf arcade machine, we can see the Monty's Gator Golf sign, just kind of laying, standing up in the background. That's kind of interesting. Other than that though, it doesn't seem like there's much else other than some foliage and maybe a wall or two in the background. So let's move on to the final image that Daco showed on his charity livestream. The last image we got to see was this one. In this image we can see that there's one of those Monty Gator Golf ride things completely destroyed and fallen over somewhere in some back storage room or something. Once again there's another wire, a very prominent wire, slinking across the floor. Maybe the wires are meant to symbolize something. Maybe the blob? Hard to tell. It could also just be symbolic of the pizza plex being destroyed. As we can see, on the right, there's this table, likely a work table, and a barricade that probably blocks off a different section way to the right that we could run through. If we look at this Monty ride, it does seem to be pretty withered and in a not such a good state. It's really dirty, first off. It is, it's got its belly, its lower bit is completely ripped off and it doesn't even look like it has anything to attach to anything. Normally there's a big rod or something, but right now it doesn't seem like there's anything. In the background we can kind of see 
a big open area back there. It looks like there's almost a door that should be there that's not. There's also some big drums behind this Monty ride. It doesn't seem to have any unique identifying qualities and likely just some assets to put down for flavor in the environment. Now when we brighten up the image, it doesn't reveal much else. We can't see anything underneath the Monty ride. We don't get to see anything on those big drums. It looks like there's a barrel in the background that I couldn't see before. On the left, it looks like it almost goes down. It looks like it's flat until you get past that striped tape. And then down below, there's a different section. You can see this red glow that's coming from back there, as well as the roof is kind of cracking. Other than that, there's not much else to see in this image. Seeing all of these images of locations for the Ruin DLC makes me really excited for the game, and I can't wait for it to be released out to the public. I will definitely play it for all of you guys to watch, and I can't wait to experience that with everyone that's watching. Well then, I guess I'll have to see you all there. Thank you all for watching today's video. Hope you all have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys.